Good. Hey, seventh graders, moving on to the next lesson. So we've covered the first 12 lessons um, on a variety of problems with number lines and addition and subtraction, multiplication. Um, lesson 13, we're going to be looking at converting between fractions and decimals using equivalent fractions. So first, we want to write the number 2.25 as a fraction. So the 2 is going to stay because it's in front of the decimal, but we have 25. So we see the 2 is in the tenths place, the 5 is in the hundredths, so we can have 25 over 100, but we want to write it in simplest form. So 25 over 100 simplifies to 1 fourth, so we have 2 and 1 fourth. Next, so a couple here to work through. Use place value, so tenths, hundredths, thousandths, so on, to convert each terminating which means that it ends decimal to a fraction. Then rewrite each fraction in its simplest form. So just like we did last time, even after you convert it, make sure that it's simplest. So first one, you have 0.218. So we don't need anything before, just our fraction. So two is in the tenths place, one is in the hundredths, eight is in thousandths. So we're gonna start with 218 over 1,000. Can we simplify that? I know we can at least simplify by 2, and that's what we're going to do. So 109 over 500 is our answer, okay? And I'll do the next one with you, and the other two you can do on your own. So we have 0.16, so 1 in the tenths, 6 in the hundredths. So we can start with 16 over 100. Again, we can simplify it by 2, and this one we actually can simplify by 4 to get 4 over 25. And the best way to do this is to go back and check 4 times 4 gets you to 16, 4 times 25 gets you to 100. Same here, 2 times 5 is 1,000, 2 times 500 is 1,000, and 2 times 109 is 218. Okay, so work on the next two by yourself, and then hit play when you're ready to see what the answers are. So we have 2, so it's going to be a standalone, and then we have 7 in the tenths and 2 in the hundredths, so we have 72 over 100, simplified, by 4 is 2 and 18 25ths. Then here we're going to have 5 over 10,000, which simplifies by 5, 1 over 2,000. So that's it. A fairly short lesson today. Um, your assignment is to complete the Edmodo questions for lesson 13. Make sure you're reading all the questions carefully and selecting the best answer. Uh, it's due tomorrow, Wednesday, like normal. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions.